The small crossover segment in Europe is still growing with some 10% hike year to year in the first half of 2017. For comparison, the small MPV segment posted 17% decline. No wonder car makers invest in the segment, which shows growth. Joining the B crossover pack is Kia Stonic. Stonic is based on Rio and is about 4,000 euro more expensive than the Super Mini. As standard, it has six airbags, manual AC, seven inch touch display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto interface, Bluetooth, electric windows and side mirrors. All this and the modern looks come at 15,790 euro. Only Citroen C3 Aircross is cheaper, but that comes only with wheels and steering as standard. Of course, this car is not in basic trim. This is actually a top trim version with a 1.6 110 horsepower diesel, which happens to be the most expensive in the range. To be honest, I did not choose this particular test car for the engine, but for the color. I'm filming this in dreary autumn, and this reminds me of spring. Unless you're going to drive a lot of motorway miles, don't bother with the diesel. Not only is it expensive, but 1.6 PSA diesel packs more punch. It's only 10 horsepower difference, but Peugeot diesel has more torque, lower in the range. Kia diesel just sounds very agricultural. On the plus side, on a cold day like today, it reaches optimum temperature much quicker than the PSA motor. Speaking of cold days, Kia can be equipped not just with heated seats, but also with heated steering wheel. Expensive gimmick, you say? Try it once and I guarantee you'll never buy a car without this option. By the way, all Stonics come with manual shifters, 5 or 6 speed, depending on the engine. Going back to the engine lineup, Stonic lacks a more powerful engine, something like in a Volkswagen T-Roc. It's a shame because Kia wants you to think this is a sporty car, at least on paper. According to the spec sheet, the Stonic has a 14.1 to 1 steering ratio, which is faster than in a BMW M3. To be honest, it doesn't feel particularly direct to me. Instead, I feel something's off with turning on roundabouts. I have to correct my line so as not to hit the curb with the rear wheel. I asked my colleagues about it, but they didn't notice anything like this. Let me know in the comments below if you do notice something like this during a test drive. Suspension is also supposed to be firm and sporty, but like it is the case with most Kias and Hyundais, it's not particularly good on series of bumps. I doubt Kia engineers don't know how to make good suspension. I rather suspect it's about the money. Kia can make claims this is a sports crossover, but most buyers are looking for an agile city car, which doesn't look like dog's dinner. And in this department, Kia Stonic delivers 100%. By the way, compared to the competition, reversing camera in the Stonic has very high resolution. Visibility is okay, driving position is good thanks to a lot of adjustment in the seat and the steering column, but would adding lumbar support adjustment cost too much? Would it destroy the price list? The car wouldn't be the cheapest in the segment or something? It's not the cheapest in the segment. What's wrong with adding lumbar support adjustment? I understand this car is marketed to younger crowd, but who doesn't have back problems these days? As far as safety systems are concerned, they come as standard on higher trim models. In lower trim, you have to pay extra. By the way, lane departure warning or blind spot monitoring are annoyingly loud. I'd rather have a vibrating steering wheel or something of that sort. Stonic may not be as great to drive as Kia claims, but for me, Kia is all about sensible, well-designed interiors. Everything is like it should be. Place for a large bottle of water in the door bins is at an angle to make it easy to reach. There's a shelf for big modern smartphone, not last year's Samsung. There are cup holders, a lot of storage. My only problem is lack of rubber lining in the lower cubby at the bottom of the center console. This is where I keep my keys and coins, and they rattle. It's quite comfortable in the back as well. A lot of legroom and headroom. Floor in the middle is virtually flat, so middle passenger should find space for feet. There is no armrest with cup holders though. Places for bottles in the door bins are barely big enough to hold half liter bottles. But there is a USB port that always comes in handy for charging your gadgets. 
The 352 liter boot has double floor, fold the back seats and you get flat loading area and 1155 liters cargo volume. There is a mini spare, two shopping bag hooks, an extra pocket for something like a first aid kit. Kia Stonic starts at 15,790 euro for a 1.2 petrol engine version. This test car costs about 24 grand. At this price point you may also want to consider Mazda CX-3, which is much more fun to drive, but has not as well designed interior. Jeep Renegade or Opel Crossland X are also cars you may want to look at. Stonic is Kia's fourth subcompact model next to the Rio, Venga and Sol. If you're looking for a B crossover with a lot of uncomplicated equipment, take the Stonic for a test drive. Let me know how you like Kia Stonic. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. New reviews every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.